Bisha Belesh in Lakob, Ink Abe, Chal Chiukot. I greet you, my relatives. How is your journey? My name is Chal Chiukot. My pronouns are they in English and Eye in Spanish. And I'm here at Minoakin, the good land, um, the southwest shores of Ininwebi Gichigami, the Great Sea. Um, here are Hochangra, Bodewadmi, and Mamacheta territories, ancestral homelands, as well as Black Liberator lands. I come to you as a parent, as a poet, a birth worker, medicine maker, and a community member, a relative. I am a visionary steward for our beautiful collective here, which is called We Have Always Been Related. It's an invitation to to spirit, queer, trans, non-binary, gender expansive, BIPOC, so Black, Indigenous, people of color, kin who work with the earth. And we've been gathering for the past year um, holding one another tenderly and honoring our medicines as we reclaim and remember our sacred roles and responsibilities within our communities. Nib um, Olal with a grateful heart. I will be sharing today about autonomia y buen vivir. I am a, an alum of the Training in Applied Agroecology program with MESA. My intentions with this presentation are to share from uh, my, personal, my personal context and what I've learned along the way. So autonomia y buen vivir is in Spanish. In English, uh, you could say autonomy and good living. And this is, as I am coming to relate to, to the words, um, something that is rooted across the planet in our indigenous ways of being, in our cosmovisions, our philosophies, our values, and our daily practices. A relative asked me, what is Buen Vivir? I replied, it's indigenous ways of living in harmony with all our relations. Sounds simple, and it is. It's woven into every aspect of our existence. We are relational beings. When we read, it's simple. It's simple living. It's simply living. It's joy. It's presence. It's witnessing beauty all around us and within us. When we read, is living our original teachings. It's also a world where many worlds exist, as the Zapatistas say. When we read, is a lucha. It's a struggle. It's a fight. It's a dedication to our ancestors and our future grandchildren to defend life and our life ways as descendants of the original peoples of these lands. These are two photos from the, the huerta, the land where we grow, as um, we have always been related, our, our collective. And this is our corn there on the left and some gatherings there on the right with some of our uh, sacred tools. And these words on the screen, Minoakin and Mayab, these are the lands that have raised me and that I come from. Minoakin uh, is the land that I'm at now, and Mayab is where uh, my family is on our ancestral homelands to the south. So I wish to, to share about this connection to the lands as this is integral to Buen Bibid and also our, existent as, our existence as indigenous peoples. Um, these lands, as I, as I named the original nations and stewards here have, um, I'm, I'm very grateful and humble to be in community with relatives and elders who have shared with me of their teachings and have really been an integral part of my own um, identity development and connecting with my indigenous heritage. So my people come from the corn. In our creation stories, we know this, this knowledge um, that this is where we come from. And elders have reminded me that we can always go back to the corn and connect with our original teachings by 
working with the corn by welcoming it into our body and eating more of our ancestral foods. This is corn that is growing, that grew in our backyard at our home um, where my family lives here at Minoaquin in the north. And on the right, these are the, the beautiful roots of the corn stalk within the ground and above. I wanted to share with you all this, this teaching um, from, from my ancestors. There's um, this saying, in lak etch, alak en. And what that is saying is, I am another you, you are another me. I am another relative, I'm another sibling. Um, and, and you are another relative of, of mine. You are another sibling of mine. This, I feel, really grounds um, my the way that I move in the world and the way that I embody good living. Um, as I look around me and I know that I am surrounded by relatives, not just the human people, um, but the energies, the elements, the plants, medicines, the earth, and this relation with land um, is, is life. And when we can, when we in, embody that, it really affects the way that we move and make decisions. These pictures here are from, um, from our huerta, our garden home. Uh, on the left, a calabaza and the flower, the fruit and the flower. In the middle, these are herbs that I was gathering to visit a relative to offer them medicines in their sacred healing time after their birth ceremony. And these beautiful, diverse, um, queer, ex beautiful expressions of flowers and colors and textures and um, here on the on the right are, are just uh, amazing and they they ground me in what it means to live on in a good way and to move with humility integrity and joy and beauty I wanted to share with you all as we talk about autonomy um, I think a lot about a lot about this concept, especially in the context of settler colonization. And to me, it's very much tied with um, with like land and uh, needing to be in relation with our lands that that we come from, that our ancestors come from, where our ancestors are buried, um, where we have for for millennia or for always sang our songs and uh, held our ceremonies. Um, and I think about autonomy being uh, able to, to be in, in relation with our teachings and our medicines and each other um, and embody those. And this is the process of putting together uh, tomatillo, green tomatillo verde salsa and frying them up in the pan. These were all from our huerta where we grew them together, harvested them together. We have chiles and we have uh, onions, we have garlic and we added some, some aguacate here and blended those up and sharing this sacred space together to go through this whole cycle of growing, gathering, processing, canning for our first time, and then sharing that nourishment with each other, um, that's, that's good living. That's a beautiful way to honor each other and all our relations. This um, slide I wanted to, to share of us at the Huerta, that's myself, and to siblings there in the background with the kale and we are gathering seed and preparing the land to rest for the winter you know part of this being in relation is is taking good care of one another of the earth 
So the earth is going to be cozy and warm and resting for the winter. We lay compost and we lay hay and we lay um, wood chips and we lay prayers and we lay laughter and song and we we wish that the next season may be an abundant beautiful harvest we also planted um, garlic in this cool season that will hopefully bless us in the springtime this onion in the middle with these roots just wild and beautiful i had to include that and on the right side this is putting together a a bone broth, a healing, nourishing bone broth, and corn tortillas. And so we, what we grow together, we we share together, we prepare, um, we nurture ourselves and our families, and that care ripples outwards to those that we are in relation with. Um, and when we read is is such a, a beautiful concept. I was researching many traditions, nations, um, and their their way of of communicating what is good living um, in their own languages. And this is a bit about uh, the way that I embody good living in my own words. And it's a lot of moving slow, moving slower, slowing down, moving with the pace and the rhythm of the seasons, the elements eating our traditional foods um, and moving with much love and gratitude. These are some additional resources. Should you like to check them out, I really suggest this book. It's super dope. It's in Spanish. It's called Ubuntu, Hacia el Buen Vivir. It's incredible. Um, also, what are your cultural heritages concepts of Buen Vivir? We all come from culture. Maybe for some of us, it's, it's digging further back. Uh, you can also look up, learn about Zapatistas and Zapatismo. And here is a compilation of the links for, uh, for my research that you can enter that that website and find the, the Google Doc that I put together. This is my last slide. I share my email in case you would like to reach out. And this image that communicates uh, Zapatista Teaching, otro mundo es posible, another world is possible. Un mundo donde quepan todos los mundos, a world where all of the worlds fit. I thank you with a grateful spirit and soul. Nib olal. Kanantaba. Take care.